I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today to try out some new products that I bought that just arrived to Sweden and it's Torzi blush and bronzer, cream bronzer and also the Amazon clay foundation that's supposed to have 16 hours of full coverage foundation and you know when it comes to full coverage I'm the girl because my only face just gets cakey and not so nice looking with a couple of products that I use. But I'm very excited to see how this is going to work. I'm also going to use this one from Colourpop, the Star Wars um, Mandalorian palette that I had for a long time, but I never had a chance to try it out. So I'm here today to create a easy, fast makeup look with this one. I also got the new Anastasia um, Magic Touch Concealer that I want to try out. So if you're curious to see how this is going to work, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I already moisturized my face and I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. And you've probably seen this makeup look in one of my unboxing of Christmas calendar or advent calendar from Kix. That's a Swedish makeup store that has their own brand too. Like kind of like Sephora, but Swedish version of Sephora. And I'm really curious to see how these products are going to stay on my face. I've been, waited for a very long time for this collection from Tarte Collection from C C Tarte Collection or C Bronzer and the blush to arrive to Sweden because I wanted to try it out but I never had but I couldn't I did have the chance but I couldn't order from their website because the shipping is kind of high but also it will um, I will have to pay for for taxes and then that would be too much. I'm setting my eyeshadow base with some powder, setting powder I'm using from Believe Beauty that I got from my friend Valerie. I really like this uh, on under my or over my eyeshadow primer because I've noticed that it kind of makes my eyeshadows wear longer. I love that. Okay, so let's go into this one. You've probably seen hundreds of different makeup looks. I really like this palette. I think it's cute. I love him, so damn cute. And now we are green, so perfect for creating a green makeup look today. So I'm going to go in with this baby face shade here in the center. That looks to be a stunning shade. I don't know which color to use in this palette because I think all of them are so beautiful. I love Colourpop's eyeshadows. A small blending brush. I'm using the Cash Beauty br brushes. This is the new collection. I know this kind of smaller blending brush. And I want to go in with this that has some shimmer in it, but it's still more of that matte. I don't know, kind of just looks to be have looks to have some shimmer, but we're going to put it in the crease. This is the little frog. This shade here. Oh, that's a lot of kickback. Let's see. Sparkles, sparkles if we we'll see them on the lid. Yes, we are. And they're going to be all over my face, but still, we are just going to do that. Hey, okay, that's a cute shade. I like that. We're going to use even a smaller blending brush, and this is from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill number 40. And we're going to go into this darkest green shade, Float Your Crib. This one, that kind of is my cup of tea. Ooh, I love this shade. They're a little bit powdery, these shades, but that never bothered me. And I go with uh, this kind of flat brush from Sosu. Uh, number 204 and I want to go into this green here that's called shipping soup sipping soup sipping soup let's see if we can use this with the brush without wearing it uh, it does show on the eye
that's cute this one this went on beautifully i'm going to with the same brush go in with the right hand mandu this shade here and go in the rest of the crease So we'll allow how this is looking. So we are going to go to the face and we'll finish the makeup a little later. I did get some, yeah, I did get some fallout, but it won't bother me. Okay, let's go in with the Milk Milk Primer. This is the one primer that I love, 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 love. And I know how it's working with my foundations. I've been using this primer for a very long time and I've been trying almost all of my foundations with that, this primer. Okay, so we are going to go into Amazon Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation from Tarte. And uh, this is saying poreless technology, full coverage and soft matte finish, Dermo dermatology tested and non comedogen Yeah, I can't pronounce that word, doesn't matter. But it, I have it in shade 14 and ivory. and it was kind of a hard time to pick a shade, but I think, I think I chose the right, the right one. We'll see. I love the packaging. And I'm going to try it with the brush too. So the brush I have here is the, the I love the is foundation brush from ET Cosmetics. Oh, it's a little bit light, but We'll fix it with some bronzer. Hmm. It smells nice. I was kind of thinking about between this this one and number 16. And I think I should go with a little bit darker shade, but this is what it is and it is what we have. I'm going to wear it the whole day. So it went on really nice with the brush and now when it had time to sit on my skin a couple of seconds or a minute it kind of adjusted to my skin uh, but I am going to go a little bit on top with the just going to put some foundation on the sponge and just kind of go on top and get rid of any streaks I have to be honest, I don't like how it sits on my nose at all. It kind of just went into my pores. So I'm not really happy about it at all. I don't know if it's because we use the brush or not, but I'm going to put some more, make it even more kicky. Now I'm just going to go in on top with Sponge, just see if we can fix this out. This is a really thick, heavy foundation. Not heavy, it doesn't feel heavy, but it's thick. And I definitely went with a lot of product, but I think the sponge is the way to go for me. Okay, this looks better. So it looks better. I did have to build up the coverage, but I mean, the coverage is very nice. It is definitely medium full and I like the sponge more so let's go with the concealer but my nose still doesn't want this foundation to stay there let's go with the concealer now I have num shade number three and I'm kind of scared that it's going to be a little bit too dark for this foundation but it's a huge packaging could be a wrong shade mm. We'll see. Maybe not. My god, my nose doesn't like this foundation at all. Oh, this is a nice concealer. I love this concealer. It's full coverage. It feels light. It blends like a dream and it looks really nice. The foundation, uh, my nose hates it. It doesn't want to stick on my nose. It kind of looks heavy and patchy. So I'm going to go in with the cream, 
cream bronzer. Um, I love cream bronzers. I have a couple of my favorites. This is in shade Seychelles. 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 Um, I'm kind of curious. I love the packaging, I have to say. I'm in love with the packaging. It's very cute and it's nice. I like it. Let's go. I'm going to use the sponge that I use for the foundation. Oh, this feels really nice. Oh my God. This color is so beautiful. This is blending really nice and I'm loving the shade. I'm loving how it sinks into the skin. And I love how it looks. I'm scared to go on top of my nose now, but... The bronzer is amazing. I love, love, love this cream bronzer. Oh, I love it. And yes, I love my bronzed face. And I kind of think this shade of the foundation kind of uh, looks pretty good. I like it. Okay. Now let's go in with the blush and the blush shade I have is Peach Sunset. I kind of love this when I saw this on the website, the shade. I haven't seen it yet. And the same cute packaging. Ooh, that's a cute shade. Let's see. Let's go in with the fine brush. I'm going to use the Cash Beauty brush. I kind of like this brush with that Cash Beauty cream blush too. So that's why I chose to choose to see this. Oh, oh wow. That's pigmented. And it's blending so nice. The blush and the bronzer are beautiful. Definitely beautiful. The foundation I'm not really sure about, but these two products working Phenomenal. Let's just go in with a clean side and blend everything nice. Yes, I like it. I'm going to set everything. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this cute, I think Beauty Bakery brush and go in with Sigma Eyebrow Powder in medium and do my eyebrows. Okay, they're not twins or sisters, but I'll go in and put some clear, clear eyebrow styling gel and this is from Believe Beauty. Yes, and then we go in and finish the uh, low lash line. Going in with this palette again, and let's just choose a brush that we are going to use. I'm going in with this cute ba ba Beauty Bakery brush, and go in with this shade that we had in our crease, Baby Face, and I'm going to dark up the end with this darker Float Your, float your Crib. But then I'm going to go in with this lighter shade here um, with the same brush I did clean it a little bit. Um, iced out highlighter and I will use my finger because I'm loving doing that. Going in with the um, Vintage Romance lipstick from Believe Beauty. Or no, I think I'm going to go in with another lipstick. I do want to go in with this one instead. This is the Macron Spice. Macron Spice. This more nudish shade. Yeah, I could use a lip liner, but I'm too lazy. I'm going to set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter. And 
I'm going to go in with Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie, Smoothie Mascara. Okay guys, so this is the final look. It's 12.36 and we had this foundation on for around 20 minutes. Let's just make it round from 12. And this is what I have to say. It looks really good everywhere else except my nose. My nose didn't like this foundation. It usually, or usually, sometimes my nose doesn't like my regular foundation, the foundations that I love and obsessed with. So I don't know if it's, I need to exfoliate my nose and that's why makeup didn't want to stick or I need to change a uh, primer or the foundation doesn't want to stick on my nose. But everything else looks really good. I'm obsessed with the blush and the bronzer. They are amazing. The eyeshadow is so cute. I love these shades. This is my new favorite. The concealer is really good. No, it didn't settle into my fine eyes and it covered a lot. So I love that. Everything else looks good, so I will go and film an unboxing video and along with my day and I'll let you know at the end of the day how everything wears and yeah, if we like the foundation or not, so see you soon. Hi guys and welcome back. It's now, let's see my phone, 7.15 almost and I'll be having this on for over seven hours. So let's see how this looks. Um, it looks good. Little bit cakey on my nose because like I said, that being, um, it, it looked cakey even when we applied it. And that could be, I think sometimes my foundation or my nose doesn't want to cooperate and the good foundation doesn't want to stick on the nose for some reason and it moves and looks cakey and heavy. Maybe I need to exfoliate or I need to, oh, where did you go? Or I need to try and have this hack when they try to apply or try to apply, where people apply eyeshadow primer. Or maybe I will try that because uh, it didn't want to stick. It looks much better than it looked before. Now when my oil came through, the foundation looks much better. It's still on my face, it's still everywhere. Even if I've touched my skin, face a lot, it looks really good. I do look shiny. I do look shiny. That's, I do look oily. You see, I just touched myself and it looks mattifying. Where, so you can see, this is funny. So I do look shiny, but it's nothing that kind of bothers me a lot. This is set into to my fine lines. The concealer looks good. I did uh, got a lot of mascara under my lower lash line. The eyeshadow look it's still there after this long i love setting my eyeshadow base with this believe powder because it actually does an amazing amazing job with mattifying the prime the blush and the bronzer i'm obsessed with i love it still on my face still looks good i'm very very impressed so this foundation is Definitely full coverage, though it's not that mind-blowing like I thought and uh, I, I will try it with other from the, uh, with other primers see if that will work a little bit better because with this milk one gripping primer it just it does look good on this face but it doesn't really look good on my nose and that's something we need to work with uh, because it's something that you know you can see when you look at me, so I can't hide my nose. So it needs to look good at th there too. But everything else looks really, really good. It's really, it's a good foundation. I have to say it's a good foundation. Uh, oh, my nose is itchy. It's a good foundation, does look cakey on my nose, but like I said, even my best foundation sometimes look cakey on my nose for some reason. My nose is just, sometimes want to work with me, sometimes wants to make my life visible and hard so it is what it is but yeah i'll continue wear it i continue play with it um yeah that's it that's everything let me know down below if you try this foundation and these other products that are tried in this video uh, let me know down below what you think about the concealer i do like concealer really really much so i do love that but yeah guys that was everything let me know down below your thoughts uh, i just love with my eyeshadow 
I think it looks so cute. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you all for watching. Bye!